help, Edie. It's been a long time since our days serving the Republic. I thought you were dead. What can I say? You taught me well. Maybe too well. What can I do for you before I call the guards? Uh, nothing for me. But I've got a daughter now. And if you can keep her safe, the question is... What can I do for you? you.
with me.
get down here. Another... We'll find. I need to combo. Drinks are on me. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, forget that last bit. Kata, you're picking dinner tonight. Whatever you want. Really? Really. What's your favorite food? Mm, 
My Gito casserole. Uh, uh, I can't make that. Blue puff cubes? I... Okay, you know what? We're having the usual. Greasy grease loaf. If I don't like it, can we make something else? Sure, but I bet the man is here gonna love it. Merritt, you heard him, right? Oh, yes. We're here, Cal Parker. Time for another story, Cal? Let's do it. All right. When I was a few years younger than you, I was working the dredges not far from the outpost. Well, kid, I wasn't thrilled, was I? Those machines were blasted nightmares to operate. Anyways, there I was, when suddenly one machine starts screeching. Must have hit something awful, I think. I get closer to shut it off, and would you believe it? The ground beneath me gives out. I go tumbling down and find myself in a pitch black cavern. Couldn't see my hand in front of my face. Next thing I know, I swear I hear roaring, carried by this unnatural warm wind. Horrific. I start shouting my bloody head off. And luckily, old No Boots Corsa finds me and tosses me a synth rope. Back at the outpost, Doma tells me that a crew of smugglers lost a shipment of juvenile rancors in that fool cave. Can you believe it? A bloody rancor pack living under our very feet. I'd believe it. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm just a local cut-up. But I've seen things. Things that'd turn your breakfast in your belly. Oi, Cal, good to see you. and all the fish we've added to my tank. And it uh, reminded me of something I've been meaning to get off my chest. What's that? Well, uh, I'm no creature of comfort. But I've got to tell you, that I've taken a wee shine to your yacht. The Mantis? Aye. You know why I like her? Is it because she reminds you it's of a... It's because she reminds me of a fish. Stunner of a trunk. All smooth as a flanter's blubber. With a fin and all. Alas, it's not as agile as a real fish, though. I don't think Grease would enjoy taking the mantis underwater either. I, I know. Cal, I've seen so many stormtroopers in the valley lately. I fear the Empire is taking control of Kobo. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, not long ago, I would have argued the Republic was just as flawed as the Empire in its own way. But the Empire is not the Republic. And they are not just a nuisance. They're tyrants and murderers. I'm starting to think we did not win the Clone Wars. Just stay safe, Toa. You too. So you're a fortune teller? Not exactly. Though prospectors do ask me to read the planet's fortune from time to time. They want you to tell them where to mine, right? Exactly. 
but my gift is not so precise as to provide specific locations. What I see, I share. It is up to them to interpret my visions as they see fit. So Tolmo's never doubled the bounty before. You got him twisted right up. He did that to himself. You mentioned before that you used to work with Sork. Yeah, it was a wild time. We made a lot of credits together and even more enemies. Doesn't sound like the kind of relationship that lasts. Things were good until they weren't. That's how it is with Sork. He'll sell you up for a stale turbo dog. Only a matter of time before he made his move. But I'm not an easy mark, Cal. You should know that by now. What can I entice you with today? I'll take it. Practically given that away. Could use this. All right. Cal, you've been holding out on me. Depends. What are we talking about? I heard there's a whole shipload of High Republic knickknacks just sitting around in those spires. You wouldn't believe the kind of credit some of these elite types will pay for that crap. Terrain's pretty rough. Not ideal looting conditions. Yeah, Toa was telling me all about it. Of course, she wanted to put him behind glass. You don't trust her with them? Don't be naive, buddy. It ain't doing anybody any good in the hands of some historian. Follow the credits. That's what I do. Pretty fed up. Folks treating me like a wounded bogling. Doesn't help, does it? Not a scrap. It's not like I've never been alone, either. I could be raised myself on an orbital mining station. What was that like? I saw a lot. A whole lot. My heroes were the spacers who ran supply contracts. They'd drop by for a few days, cash in, usually gamble most of it away in the sabak dens. They weren't rooted, you know? And it took me about 16 years to figure out that I wasn't rooted either. So I hopped on a tramp freighter, never looked back. You got out. I'm glad you did. You know, I'm glad too. I didn't get out of there. I never would have met the old man. Talk later, buddy. We've carved through more than half the brood's finest, Cal. I think you're about ready to pick some signature moves. Yeah? Like what? Take my boots. They're inset with repulsor lifts for unrivaled speed and maneuverability. Plus, they look damn good. I'll stick with what I know. What you know might not save you from top-tier hunters. They're faster, stronger, and downright meaner than anyone you've faced so far. Do you really see visions? Not in the way you assume. I observe the world around me, and the voice within my mind speaks. Everyone at this outpost has a unique energy. Take Doma, for example. Strong, like a boulder. While waves of fear swirl around the cantina, they crash against our boulder and abate. She makes everyone feel safer. Yes! Once she asked me what would happen if she left Kobo, I told her what any with open eyes could see. The outpost would fall apart. You see it too. These look interesting. Later.
I must be alone now. I was hoping to run into you. What did I do this time? Just want to say goodbye, that's all. Where are you headed? Well, I'm not sure exactly. Just feeling restless. Time to move on. Take care, Mosey. You're a hell of a hunter, Cal. Hope to see you again. Cal, the Empire set its sights on Kobo, and everyone's jumping planet. Now, it's not my nature to stick my nose in other people's business. Uh, but, but are you leaving too? For now, you're gonna be all right. Better than all right. I've got a plan. This might surprise you, but I've been pushed around my whole life. No one ever took me seriously, and I can use that to my advantage. And just when the Empire lets its guard down, that's when I strike. We've all got to fight the Empire however we can. That's right. I'm a Kobo local and proud of it. This is my home, and I'm gonna defend it. Sticking around, Dana? Of course I am. I wager Kobo's got plenty more to give. Those imps will have to drag me out of here in pieces. Ain't gonna be the same without Grok, though. They sure don't make them like that anymore, huh? No, they don't. Still, I'm liable to miss the next score, or a blaster muzzle in my face if I stand here whining. Hard to find the time to mourn when you're trying to stay afloat. Yep, you get it. Hey, how come he never charged me for our chats? You make everyone else pay for your wisdom. Ha! If wisdom could be obtained with credits, all would possess it. Every fortune has a price. But a conversation between friends is priceless. That is why I do not charge you, Sojourner. Thanks, Tulok. Say, I never told you how I got out of that vine with Sook, did I? Don't tell me you cut a deal with him. Ah, please. And I thought we were getting to know each other, Cal. I got tired of playing Sork's game. Did a bit of freelancing. Sork gets word and summons me to Ordo Eris. But it was a trap. Yeah, of course. Better to walk into the trap you know than the one you don't see. I stroll right into his fighting pit. His goons descend. Sork thinks he has me. Until I start singing. Not where I thought this was going. How did that save you? Everyone's got a weakness. And Sork's is obsession. He fell for someone once, long ago. Lover Boy used to sing to him. Well, I found Lover Boy. I told Sork if he ever moved against me, he'd never hear that sweet voice again. Ain't that a heartbreaker? Love will make you do crazy things like spare someone's life when you really shouldn't. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Dreo, my old partner. Ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. Adreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. Try to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. 
brings us to this rule brittle cantina years later. At least you got out eventually. Will you take some advice? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything. Talk later, hmm? Cal, I've been meaning to ask. With the Empire everywhere, do you think Rambler's Reach has a chance? Reminds me of something a friend of mine once said. One of the wisest men I've known. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. I believe that to be true. But things are probably going to get worse before we can make them better. Yeah. But that does not mean I'm going to let the Empire destroy Kobo's history. And I guess there's still hope, isn't there? Time piece in gear. Zig could knock this dent out if you like. Oh, no thanks. Helps me remember how I got it. And how's that? Bounty hunter. Made the mistake of pulling a blaster on my little girl.
Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? Oh, a wanderer in this solitude. Prior right. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb shop.
Another shard. Priorite. this.
did it. We can trade this at Doma shop.
impact. Get in here! Another stim! They got you good, didn't they? Did you hear that? Sweep the area. Sorry, old man. It's my day to die. You rest. I'll bury you later. God! You're all right! Ugh, what a burden off of his shoulders! Were you worried? I just had the most lonesome encounter with one of those battle droids. I wanted to make a find you too. What happened? The metal beast told me to present my tribute to the bedlam leaders. What the time any lover who dares to steal a fish from Scooter's death? Did you get into a fight with a battle droid? No, no, they, uh, they took leave of me spot. Plus they were frightened by my crude gestures, eh? <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Scuba. Keep an eye out, Cal. There'll be strange folk in these waters. Callan, I have a matter of great importance to discuss. I fear, though on account of me helm, that you've got the impression that I depend on my suit for breathing. I hadn't given it too much thought. But I could hold my breath for ages. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. You didn't believe me. Then fine, I'll prove myself. You really don't have to. Here I go! Hold up my breath in three, two, one! Oh, uh... Very impressive. You don't have to do this, you know. See you around, Scuba. Come lad. You've got the uh, long stare in your eyes. What's next for you? Where does the wind take you? I think I found a new home. Somewhere to plant my feet. Aha. Uh -huh. But uh, home is not something you find. That's something made. But I'm happy for you. It's not a simple business for a wind-tossed soul to drop their anchor. No, it isn't. Just, uh, never forget to come fishing with old Scuba sometimes, eh? 